Good morning everyone. So today we're going to continue yesterday. Eh, no, uh, on Tuesday's lesson eh, which is about my house. Okay, but last time you read about Sue's house, right? Okay, so today I need you to write about your own house. Okay, so dah sudah lah cerita pasal rumah orang. Cerita pasal rumah sendiri pula. Okay, so uh, these are the lesson outlines. Okay, firstly I need you to get to know about your house. Okay, aku nak tahu rumah awak macam mana. How many rooms are there? Ada berapa bilik? Ada berapa bilik air? How many bathrooms? How many living rooms? Okay, where is the kitchen? Where is the dining room? Okay, and then I need you to write an, an AC uh, about your house in the house template given. Okay. How to write an essay about your house? Macam mana nak tulis sekarang dengan pasal rumah awak ni? Okay, let me teach you how. Okay, so you need to answer these questions. So, aku kena fikirlah sekejap. Okay, is your house big or small? Ha, rumah awak besar ke kecil? Okay, pilih satu. And then number two, name the rooms uh, of your house. Okay, you have the bedroom. Mesti ada bilik kan? Okay, you have the toilet, uh, the bathroom. Mesti juga ada kitchen, masak-masak kan? Okay, bedroom ada berapa bedroom? Bathroom ada berapa bathroom? Ada dining room dengan kitchen ke? Atau ada kitchen je ke? Ataupun situ kitchen, situ dining room ke? Okay, you have to explain. Alright, uh, bilik cerita lah ada berapa bilik, ada berapa bilik air, uh, ada tingkat atas ada apa, tingkat bawah ada apa, uh, cerita. Okay, uh, what is your favourite room? Apa bilik kegemaran awak? Uh, awak suka duduk kat ruang tamu main game ke? Ataupun awak suka duduk dalam bilik, duduk gulik je ke? Ataupun saya suka duduk kat dapur sebab saya sentiasa lapar pun boleh. Choose one favourite room. Okay, and then, what is or what are there in your favourite room? Ada apa dalam bilik tu menyebabkan awak suka sangat duduk kat situ? Ha, okay. So, sample essay number one. Saya bagi awak contoh. Alright. Okay, question number one. Is your house big or small? Okay, I live in small house. Saya tinggal di rumah yang kecil je. Okay, name the rooms of your house. There are two bedrooms. Ada dua bilik tidur. Study room. Ada satu bilik bacaan. Kitchen. Dapur. Dining room. Ruang makan. And living room. Okay, what is your favourite room? Uh, apa bahagian rumah kegemaran? My favourite room is the study room. Saya suka duduk bilik bacaan. Okay, what are there in the favourite room? Ada apa yang menyebabkan awak suka sangat? There are a lot of books in the study room. Ada banyak buku dalam bilik bacaan tu. Sebab tu dah saya suka dalam bilik tu. Okay, this is the example. I live in a small house. Gabung balik ayat tadi, jadi satu karangan. Okay, I live in a small house. There are two bedrooms. Ada dua bilik tidur. Study room. Satu bilik bacaan. Kitchen, dapur. Dining room. Bil, uh, tempat makan. And living room. My favourite room is the study room. There are a lot of books in the study rooms. I love... I love my house. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Tak ada the ni. Ini tak ada ni. Salah teacher ni. I love my house. Okay, ni contoh karangan number one. Okay, let's look at sample AC number two. Okay, tadi kita dah buat rumah kecil kan? Ini kita nak rumah besar lah pula. Okay, so rumah besar ni ada dua tingkat teacher pilih. Alright, so choose your house is a big house or small house. Okay, dia kata I live in a big house. Okay, name the rooms of your house. Okay, kita ceritalah tadi kan. The kitchen, dining room and living room are downstairs. Ah, ke dapur, ruang makan, ruang tamu semua kat bawah dia kata. There are four bedroom upstairs. Ada empat bilik tidur kat atas. Ha, tapi rumah dia pelik tak ada bilik air. Ha, tertinggal lah tu tak ada bilik air. Awak cerita bilik air kat mana. Alright, so... What is your favourite room? Apa bilik kegemaran awak? My favourite room is my bedroom. Ha, dia suka duduk dalam bilik dia. What are there in the, your favourite room? I got pink walls. I love my fluffy bed. 
saya ada dinding warna pink, saya suka ada tilam yang empuk. Ha, itu sebab dia suka sangat bilik dia. Alright. So, this is the example of the AC. I live in a big house. The kitchen, dining room and the living room are downstairs. There are four bedrooms upstairs. My favorite room is my bedroom. I has got purple walls and I like my fluffy bed. I love my bedroom. Ah, sini aku boleh buat I love my house ataupun I love my bedroom. It's fine. Boleh? Okay, so yang ni teacher dah tinggal juga dekat pondok jaga minggu lepas. Kalau awak ambil kertas minggu lepas, adalah juga kertas ni kan. Jadi, what you have to do, okay, for the first one, part one ni, okay, awak kena colour yang cantik-cantik. Okay, for part two, what you have to do is, you have to write the essay. Tulis karangan tu dekat part two ni, yang awak buat tadi tu. Okay, contoh yang teacher bagi tu, awak boleh ubah suai ikut rumah awak. And then tulislah dekat ruangan ni, atas garisan ni elok-elok. Lepas tu, bubuh gam dekat sini. Ah, cantumkan kertas yang ni dengan yang ni. Okay, so I think that's it for today's lesson. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye!